This is Nikki. It's been a while since I have made a video, but today I'm going to finish up on the strawberries. I'm going to start off on this little one right here first. And then I'm going to go over to the end of that one and finish them. So, of course, I'm just going to color it just normal. Let's see. Choose a. I want to choose this pinkish red color. Start with a very light coat. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. Just had a lot going on in my family. So. But I haven't gone nowhere. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Brute Finer pencils for these two pieces of strawberry. I'm going to try to do some shading. I miss it when I don't color in post videos. I enjoy doing it. Sorry, I had to check my camera. Daniel had a wonderful Father's Day. Him and Kimberly went to a lake nearby. It's called Hungry Mother Park. And they went swimming. They ate ice cream. Um, then they ate out on their way home. Got drive through. They had a really good day. Kimberly's worn out. But she had such a good time with her daddy. It's not too often that they get out, get to go out by themselves. I'm glad they got to. It makes me happy. I love seeing Daniel happy when it comes to Kimberly. She loves her daddy. Alright, let's see here. I think I'm going to take my blending pencil and blend this right up. And maybe put another darker color down.
Yeah, I don't think that was a dark enough red. I'll have to add some more. Yeah, let's see here. Darker, darker, darker. Let's see. Let me tear off a clean sheet here. No, that's not dark enough. Yeah, that's dark. That way, make sure I'm still in camera. Now, let's see if this is dark enough red. Oh, yeah. Get the edges first. I think it's dark enough. I think, I think. Now we're going to move on to green. Let's see here. We want to start with the light green. Go ahead and color and fill in with the light green. This picture is it's simple. That's what I like about it. Try to take something simple and make it pretty. And I'm not pressing very hard either. Okay. And a little bit darker green. I need to sharpen it. Whoops. I broke it. I got it that time. Now let's I think that looks okay. You know, 
you know what I thought about doing? I think what I'm going to start doing down in the description, I think I'm going to start making a list of the colors that I used. in the brand of course I don't know I may I may not we'll see how well it turns out by doing it all right let's get darker green good okay there that strawberry is finished now let's turn the paper around and go to the end of the other strawberry and color it Alright, I'll tell you what the colors are this time because I'm going to color it the same as the other piece. Except I just won't be using the greens. Let's see. The first color I used, the first base color I used was number 106 in the Brute Funners. So I'll do the first layer. It's like a pinkish red and I'm not pressing very hard at all so how, ever, how has everyone been I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but sometimes things happen. And you can't. I didn't notice it until I started making a video. I'm a little scratchy. My voice sounds a little scratchy. Allergies do bother me a lot in the spring and summer and fall. Basically the whole time you mow your yard. Alright, I got that first red done. That was 106. The next red is 008. That's the first dark color. It's more of a really dark pinkish red. And then I needed something darker. But if I don't put this first, I don't believe that it would turn out the same. Once again, I'm not pressing very hard at all. I think I've already decided what I'm going to do for July. 
I think it may change, but I think I've got an idea of coloring, making my coloring pages for the month of July pages that I have drawn, like out of my sketchbooks and stuff. And I'm going to make them into coloring book pages. And then I'm going to color my own drawings. I don't know how well that's going to go over, so I'm basically going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't do well, I'll just go back to coloring a page. Of course, if I'm not done with this picture, I'll continue until I finish this picture. Alright, that was number 008. Now, I blended it, I think. Oh, I think I did blend it first before I added the next dark red. It would be nice if I could do what I do when I'm not recording. Like while I'm coloring, I love watching coloring videos. I love long videos. And most of the people, well, I think all, no, most of the people that I follow and watch um, make long videos. The longer the video, the better when it comes to coloring. I'm pressing a little bit harder for this. darker red. That is 102. Yeah, 102. Let me go back over where there is already red. colored in the seed a little bit. There, I think I... Let me soften up some of these edges. Kind of get it blended together. I think that looks okay. You know, 
you know what I thought about doing? I think what I'm going to start doing down in the description, I think I'm going to start making a list of the colors that I used. In the brand, of course. I don't know. I may, I may not. We'll see how well it turns out by doing it. Alright, let's get darker green. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There, that strawberry is finished. Now let's turn the paper around and go to the end of the other strawberry. And color it. Alright, I'll tell you what the colors are this time because I'm going to color it the same as the other piece. Except I just won't be using the greens. Let's see. The first color I used, the first base color I used was number 106 in the Brute Funners. So I'll do the first layer. It's like a pinkish red and I'm not pressing very hard at all so how, ever, how has everyone been I know it's been a long time since I posted a video, but sometimes things happen. And you can't. I didn't notice it until I started making a video. I'm a little scratchy. My voice sounds a little scratchy. Allergies do bother me a lot in the spring and summer and fall. Basically the whole time you mow your yard. All right, I got that first red done. That was 106. The next red is 008. That's the first dark color. It's more of a really dark pinkish red. And then I needed something darker. But if I don't put this first, I don't believe that it would turn out the same. Once again, I'm not pressing very hard at all. I think I've already decided what I'm going to do for July. 
I think it may change, but I think I've got an idea of coloring, making my coloring pages for the month of July pages that I have drawn, like out of my sketchbooks and stuff. And I'm going to make them into coloring book pages. And then I'm going to color my own drawings. I don't know how well that's going to go over, so I'm basically going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't do well, I'll just go back to coloring a page. Of course, if I'm not done with this picture, I'll continue until I finish this picture. Alright, that was number 008. Now, I blended it, I think. Oh, I think I did blend it first before I added the next dark red. It would be nice if I could do what I do when I'm not recording. Like while I'm coloring, I love watching coloring videos. I love long videos. And most of the people, well, I think all, no, most of the people that I follow and watch, um, make long videos the longer the video the better when it comes to coloring I'm pressing a little bit harder for this darker red. That is 102. Yeah, 102. Let me go back over where there is already red. Kind of colored in the seed a little bit. There, I think I. Let me soften up some of these edges. Kind of get it blended together. Smooth. There we go. Now I'm going to be using zero five zero fifty. It's fifty fifty fifty. It's like a yellow orange, yellowed orange. It looks good. Now, 
now I have colored all of the strawberries now. Let's see if I can zoom out. And you can kind of see what I've done here. I don't know what I'm going to start on next. I may do the watermelons next. Yeah. I'm only finished with these two. This was the first one. This was the second one. And this was the third one. And of course this is part four. Yep. I think it's cute. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to wrap it up and try to get the next video out soon after, at least in a couple days. So, have a good day. See you later.